everybody, it's Uncle Scott back here on the Quirky Reacts channel, and today we're going to check out a brand new movie, meaning like new this year, 2024. It's called Hitman. Uh, it came up as a suggestion for me after I watched Maverick Top or Top Gun Maverick uh, because Glenn Powell stars in this, and he started Maverick alongside Tom Cruise and Miles Teller. Uh, so I don't know a whole lot about it. I also know that uh, when I saw my dad and stepmother for father's day they said they had watched it and they actually kind of enjoyed it so uh not that we have the same kind of taste but it looked like it could be a fun one so i figured it's new it's fresh kind of taking a departure from doing some of the older school ones so figured why not let's give it a try uh so thanks for watching along with me i say let's get right into it this is hitman not to be confused with Hitman One Word, which they made a couple of movies, I think at least two, maybe three, which is based on the video game Hitman, which, by the way, awesome game. Uh, all right, let's jump right into this. And this is Hitman. Somewhat true story. So what does Nietzsche mean? The greatest enjoyment is to live dangerously. Sylvia. Take risks and get out of your comfort zone. Absolutely. You guy driving the Civic. <laughs> I love how we all used to think that teachers couldn't hear us when we would, like, say something in the classroom. They could hear us. <laughs> the amount of patience and tolerance that teachers have to have. It's amazing. <laughs> I know on the surface, my life looks simple. A guy feeding birds and living alone with his cat. Mm. The subtlety of the table flaps down because he doesn't need them all the way up because he never has someone there with him. Content. That's set design right there. My name is Gary Johnson and been teaching psychology and philosophy. I also had a flair for all things electronic. I was minding my own business of turns. How do we feel about opening like inner monologues by the main character? I think it really depends on the movie. Jess Rooter watches us with this Craig. Some people think it's like lazy writing by the screenwriter, but. Oh, there's Retta. Look, we just heard Jasper can't go in. We're thinking you're up. You just got promoted to contract killer. Well, were you rescheduled? Ah! He's not even here yet. Hitman don't cancel the first meeting. Hitman, Hitman don't exist. What? You've seen this a million times. Five years ago, almost got killed. I don't wanna almost get killed. No pressure. We'll move in if it starts getting pear-shaped. And you might want to check this out real quick. What? Your alias, Billy. Oh my God, I'm going to die. Think about how crazy it is, though. We are five minutes in, and he's already being put into the situation that is, like, the basis for the film. But we have an understanding of what type of person he is. They gave us enough context already in those five minutes. That's crazy. Claude's you know, a lot of people were fine with what I did. If you read the comment section, it's like... Oh, Claude said to get your mic and transmitter. So uh, who's going to my place? Ah. Any wisdom or tricks? Bottom line, your job is to put these assholes in prison. Man. You only get one first impression. You're not wearing those in there, are you? <laughs> it's the clothes he came in. Honestly, these are pretty really well. Oh. He was going to wear jorts. Jorts is a hitman. Billy. You think about it though, that would be some like crazy, crazy way to like approach it. So, uh, how long have you been doing this? Fucking business. Shit, look at <laughs> That's gonna be a good thing. We're not gonna be friends. Breathe. Think Hitman thought. Huh? So, starting this coming Tuesday, that way, uh, anything, uh, 120 miles out. In the <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good alibi. I'd say Friday's probably the best time. So what are you thinking exactly? What does that mean, exactly? <laughs> you know what it means. No, he, he just needs to go away for good. Did he just look at the mic and the flowers? In this case, separate the head from the body. Do what I like to drift out in a little boat. Body. Ah. Head. Head means teeth. Teeth are a fuck. This is a weird dynamic with the like leaning back and forth. <clears throat> so what do you do about that? I find a spot in the middle of nowhere. Stick a dynamite in the mouth. Uh, you just blow that fucker up, huh? Wow. 
Huh? I mean, those are... I can tell you're very okay. thorough, which is good. I would have already removed those and dispersed them separately. Why does it feel like he's trying to get information from him, just like he's trying to get information from him? It's weird. Now I just need your absolute final sign-off. And I need to hear the words out of your mouth right now. Whatever way suits you best. I knew it. We'll be in touch. You're going to jail, son. You gotta say, man, hell of a profession you're in. The next time you see me, you'll have a brand new life. Nah, that's a good line. I guess so. That's a good line. Please, get your hands up. Go, 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 go. Fucking hands up. You have the right to make silence. You have a right to an attorney. You so designed for one. Okay, Daniel Day. <laughs> Cash, got the right words out of him. Sheesh. <laughs> you got him, man. Great job, Gary. Guy in there. I don't know. <laughs> you might have just saved a life. Feels good. He wants to puke. God, you guys are weird. Did your family really have land out on the bike? Oh, no. <laughs> I made that part up. I have been out there a few times birding. Wow. You don't say. Three pileated woodpeckers at the same time. It's just these big, technically it's the first the elusive ivory, <laughs> which there was a rumored sighting in 2005, caused a big stir, but others think they might've just, can we turn up the air? So how's that guy seeing him and knowing him going to come back to play later, right? Like to eliminate relationship issues or the usual combination of both. But because hitmen have been a staple of good luck getting anyone to existence is all a myth. So many good hitman movies. Too. My job was not to debunk the fantasy. Professionals, the first one that comes to mind that's so good. But do was hella sketchy. The referral usually finds its way to the police. You need to roll your tongue. I realize not everyone. It's amazing what you can learn on YouTube, right? You do your part. After he's gone all alone. Big house. He's laughing at the phrase big house. High society person. A little hidden joke. Adjudicated probation. Wow. Evenly divided, but young and old, rich and poor. <laughs> That seems clean. Doesn't it? He looks like American Psycho in this. But a left-handed person doesn't shoot them with the right. Even sounds like him a little bit. A person with phobia for heights doesn't jump, babe. Oh, he's got to be going for that. Requires studying. Suicidal people want to leave this world quickly. Because even the speech pattern is... But you take it over to East Tech, Beaumont, or Port Arthur? Speedboat. Like Miami Vice. Like Miami Vice. <laughs> Like, each, each ending of the scene kind of has a reference to what's going on, right? Like, Miami Vice, they were undercover cops who tried to bust people. Well, come on, you don't know yourselves? What we'll be doing this semester, an illusion, an uh, act, a role. It's always a poignant moment, because it's having a kid with someone mm -hmm. else. Poignant. Seems like a pretty... That's a word. Five traits that make up personality, right? I mean, you, you have to embody the trait. You know, it's, it's like the as if principle. As if you are the person pretty soon, you might realize that is you. Oh, no, so I taught my brother that. My brother's a younger brother. When he was first in college, and I was like, act as if, man. You act as if nine times out of ten, people will believe that you are who you say you are. It was my trick to teach him how to get into bars before he was old enough to get into bars. I didn't say it was smart, but that's like a big brother's obligation, isn't it? Another person. Okay. <laughs> Speaking of um, fucked up, I, I tech support stuff, full blown undergird stopper. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he told her. I'm sorry, that must be so weird. Believe the side of humanity I'm hanging out with. I have a feeling you never wanted to murder me when we were married. No, just saying it like it's a bad thing. No, 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 it's just. Just afterwards when you got pregnant by someone else. Kill someone, you'd be capable of some serious passion. Oh, she's saying he's not passionate. Yeah, at least I'm trained for it. Oh, quite frankly, he's got a better range than you do. Do you believe that, Gary? Do you guys think that's true? Yup. Stats don't lie. Maybe I can find something for you over in traffic. Why don't you just have me clean the toilets? I could do that. Since you being the asshole. Mm -hmm. Married to husband, Ray Mass, family's oil and gas business. Nothing. No criminal wreck. Couple of domestic complaints, no arrests. He likes her. All pie is good pie. <clears throat> I assume that's what we're here to talk about. Mm -hmm. It doesn't really let me do anything. Can I have a bite of that pie? 
Sure. Who asked their hitman for a bite of pie? Do I look like a cat person? What stories? Oh, the ones about lost a child to a murderous. Not like person. He's flirty. Okay. It's like he's on a date. This is good writing. Did we pull any paw prints? No, sir. But we're hurting suspects now. No small challenge, as we know. Utter catastrophe. Terrible. <laughs> well, you're good. <laughs> you too. So what do you do? Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot. No, it's okay. See, they were on a date. There's a lot. Yeah, I can't believe I'm doing this. He wants to help her. So how, how, how does this usually work? How do you want it to work? I don't know. I'm just really scared. Why are you scared? He's a bad bro. You don't know what I married into. Worse and worse. I hear you. This is gonna hit too close to home, man. Like I despise people. These men who like. Do you ever think about it? Commit DV. If you did something else. Just because they need to. Or if you chose a different path. I don't overthink things. I'm not very freaking weak ass bitches. We all have regrets. Well, in my line of work, I can't afford to think that way. But I'm not going to die in prison. What if me coming here and the best decision that I've ever made? Because it's for me. Bro. Listen, there's nothing in this for me. Do your future self. Fulfilling life that can still have that. Take what's in there and get a new life. Right now. It's so hard for survivors to run away, though. And if you need anything, or if you change your mind, you have my number. I literally had a friend get killed by her husband because of this kind of crap. So this movie is way too close to home. You're a fucking life is what I just saw and listened to what I saw and listened to. They should be like, why don't we go help this woman who's clearly being abused? Let me be your therapist. I'm going to, I am not going to like this movie. The most unprofessional thing I've seen. See, this is what happens. At least you got him in custody. I wonder if that had any. Well, we'll never know. I wonder why you cops aren't thinking about like before she can start what's incriminating happening to herself. her at home if this is what she's been resorted to. Let's say an unusual out. Especially when she gets a call from him and like immediately wants to run off. Unless it's all an act, which I mean that would be creative writing. All right. Is it all Bye, a Gary. farce and Bye. she's just doing that so she doesn't seem like the type of person that would hire a hitman. I mean, I know he dropped the ball on this one, but. I would love to grab a beer with that guy. I would get blackout drunk. I'd let him talk. I would rip my IUD. Ah. Wrong. Strictly nightstick. I mean, it's kind of sounding like. I would take your sloppy sack if it were wrong. This. Wow. And an in trapping is the most dishonest, fraudulent kind of there is. Gary Johnson isn't a human being. Oh, he's got a Bible. Has humanity, empathy. Just use him whatever he can to not get in trouble, man. Kind of sucks to have to listen to. But in the People Are Forever Mysteries, which was usually followed by this. You find the defendant not guilty. <laughs> She's going to find another way to kill that guy. Personal justice is going to be yours. Oh! Right there. Amen, amen. Uh-huh. The gun. Right. The bullets. Mm-hmm. Pound all three of those things. Oh. Did you nut tap them? Damn it. Oh. I wouldn't nut tap the guy with the gun. What are you talking about right there. I would of course never cross this line. Right. Pandering to whoever holds the meat. At the end of the day, we're all spineless. Dogs just don't apologize for it. Buddy. <laughs> how many men, how many men, how many women's hearts melted? I thought I loved puppies. Oh, I... Glenn Powell had some dog licking his face. Glad you came. I'm glad you invited me. I'm fine. Real question is, how are you? Yeah, I'm, I'm great. I have my own place now in St. Rock. Oh, wow. She got away from the guy. That's awesome. Sometimes you just... Gotta make a move. No, I saw your text, I thought. Oh, God, no, no. <laughs> that new me, new life, he's... And what, she's gonna date the hitman? Just so happy this is how it's all going for you. 
I don't want to be weird or anything, but I'm not you. There, I said it. Don't get a lot of thank yous in my line of work. We have a situation in the husky cage. Huskies! Hi. Hi. Oh, Ron. Nice to meet you. You need me help? I'm good. I got things to do. Wow. <laughs> it's long, it's long. Go, go, go. A uh, hit man who plays with kids. No, no, I don't play it. What? And yet you kill people for money. Chivalry may be dead, but I didn't kill it. It's like you don't even exist. It's by design. I love people. And yet you kill them. It's always with a purpose, to protect. And make no mistake, there are some who need killing. So what's the biggest difference between between the real you and your occupation? This is such a weird dynamic. I like to have a good time, but I don't want anyone to remember my face. I don't want to pulled into memorable conversations. That's why I drive a Honda Civic. I want it to seem like. Nice reverence to the earlier thing the kid said. Tell me a little more about the unprofessional I'd say. I'd say pretty damn unprofessional. How do you want me? It's a good comeback. Oh, I twice came Ron's out. got some serious riz. That depends on what your intentions are. You want to know all about me, but what about you? I was once told I think to thought a certain amount of animal abandon. That's kind of true. I liked Ron. He wasn't a thinker. Hell yeah. So I don't know if I was just better as Ron or I was having sex with someone who was clearly, I'm not proud to say this, but it upped my game. She was like round two, damn it. Look, honey, uh, I've had a few girlfriends that, because of my life, I generally have trouble maintaining what, hey, man. Do you want to see me again? He's like, with and without clothes. Oh, this is a bad idea. For instance, we can never go to my... Good, I don't want to. Did that say pleasure? Is he on the corner of piety and pleasure? The super ego urges that are solely based in the pursuit of pleasure welcome to madison airlines please follow me to the upper no. i know we agree not to talk and you don't have to answer if you don't want to how do you do it and not get caught well, you gotta be smart why does some of this feel like a setup i mean <clears throat> certain areas like you have this big beautiful thoracic i had somehow found my stage we're about to go into the end of the pool here. This outfit is insane. If I take this envelope and leave, is that what you want? Mm -hmm. There's your boyfriend finding, right? With pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> wow. A psychopathic be a threat to society. It's no more likely to commit that crime than in. I would characterize just the, although no one was ultimately harmed, He's testifying a bit there, isn't he? Premeditated murder. Objection. Overruled. Yeah, for real. <laughs> well, if you were not in coercion. I'm not in the business of second chances. I like the sound of that. Well, are you going to show me how to use it or what? No. Something is off. I can't put my finger on it. Nothing outside of your manners. We have to leave our loveness at some point. It feels like a con. <laughs> I suck. Why, why is this so hard? That just takes practice. Self-hailing targets is a funny line. It's for weekenders, tourists. That's my usual distance. Control of the time. Yeah. And more mostly. Wait, wait, wait. How can a full moon not affect sing that? What if someone that he helped no sense. No, it makes convict, sense. Like paid her to get close enough to do with shadows. A phase is just how much of this- They kill him. Like, we've never seen the other husband. Gravitational relationship between the moon- Something's going on. Is, ...is fixed. So the moon may look month, but nothing's actually changing. And she's like the honeypot. I she didn't know him was that with Neil fucking DeGraff. Go dance, wife. Like, what if it's that original guy, that first guy when I said- He looked at him and that had to be intentional? Was that intentional for that story plot? And if that's not the plot of this movie, shouldn't it be? <laughs> oh, he's gonna run into one of his students. Ray. Oh, hold on, man. Guess your hands have been too busy to pick up, huh? Who the fuck is this? I'm her boyfriend. 
Ray, can we just please keep what, it? Keep it what, Maddie? Oh. You tell me, Maddie. Want me to keep it cordial? Nice to meet you. Madison, you're pathetic. Hey, you know what? No. Right. You right. Know what? Uh, that may have just blown my theory. Really moving up in the world, aren't you, Madison? Huh? Cool, man. Yeah. He just, he just walked. That was wild. Maybe my radar's off. None of this feels right. All right, cool guy. Oh, my God. Stood up for me. Wow. Here. Best date ever. Oh, man. Now I want ice cream. You are divorced, though, right? I mean, it's just like, what are the chances yeah. that the same... Okay, what's up with all these questions? Fine. I fucked up. This is weird, man. <sighs> Sign a new home when we get home. Just saying... You don't see me from where the lovers are hanging out. We just gotta keep this clean. Oh! <laughs> what? Yep. Oh, I'm just grabbing some tea across the way. I mean. Are you gonna introduce me to your. <clears throat> uh oh. Jasper. Madison. Madison? Mm hmm. Madison. Right, because he was able to. Have we met before? You, those... you just look. Connect those dots? What are we doing? We didn't even have time to get a Title III warrant. No, but he said he'd be the guy sitting alone reading. Historically speaking, is never. It's going to be fine, Gary. Is this going to be her husband? Got this, G. Enjoy your breakfast. No. Why does he need to wear glasses when he's Gary, but not when he's any of the other people? Oh, I guess they did show him putting contacts in, didn't they? Never mind. I'll stop trying to find flaws in it. Uh, yeah, Judd? Eyes forward. How can I help you? So you're... I am. Or is that the husband? And you... I do. I can't tell with the hat on. Got no problem with that. It's gonna cost you more. Yeah. Fuck them both. You bring the money? Yeah, it's right here. I want her to know why. I want that to be the last thing she... That's some cold evil-ish right there, man. You know what? Maybe I'll throw in the boyfriend for free. That's very simple. You give me the money. I take care of this shit myself. Why would he do that? What the hell is that about? I don't know. Happens. Does it? These detectives are terrible detectives. Look, I wanted to talk with you about the... Oh, her? Hey, I... it all makes sense to me now. It's, it's cool. It's no big deal. It's, it's, it's good for you. It's good for you. All right, she was just thanking me for steering her in the right direction. I just don't want things to get misconstrued. Trust me. Mm-hmm. And he knows what you do. Yeah. What are you talking about? Are you going to kill me? Then I have nothing to worry about. He'll find someone else. I think he might do it himself. This movie's weird. I'm sorry. Guys, I try to be understanding when watching things and not always hypothesize, but something is off. You're going to put him on a boat? The majority of us. So how do you solve this problem? And the new thinking is that these kind of part in our social evolution than previously thought. Well, it's like he's justifying the role that he plays. I'm sorry, what happened? Bullet to the aorta, 38. When I was researching her, a guy seemed like he had a... Now he's covering for her? And then the guy she was with pulled a gun on him. Did we ID that guy? Not yet. Bro. Maybe it's a new uh, boyfriend. Should we go try to find this guy? I think Johnson and I should. Is that all right if I bring him? Sure. Are you? Why would you want him? Yeah. He's not a detective. He's a decoy. Let me know what you find. No, no. Nothing here. Hi. But her door's unlocked? I didn't think it would come up. Yeah, but who told you? Listen to police scanners. I've been killed in this town. I'm wondering if you're okay, because you seem... Obviously, I'm going to tell you. I'm still just processing it all. It feels off. You know, it's a weird position to be in. I don't know how to pretend. Why the fuck would I have anything to do with this? Well, you think I'm just out there on my own killing people? Okay. What am I missing? This is my problem. I This will annoy me. Like, And now it's become a clock checker. Do you guys ever do that when you're watching movies? Like you become a clock checker. You try to see like, when is it ending? So I can just get to like, what is the answer of this? Because it's not entertaining if I don't like, I just want to understand it or they're not keeping me engaged enough so that the mystery is worth the waiting. 
She seems fake. I don't get it. What are they saying? Any suspects, arrests? They just found him shot. I swear the blue. You don't have to be scared. Why would you be scared? Yeah, that was weird. You killed him? Yeah, technically. Technically what? What was he doing? Passed out or asleep. Yeah, I made a story and they're- That was the least hitman reaction of all time. And you killed him? God. Why are you getting so worked up about- I've done this? I've never killed anyone. Now the truth is- I'm a fake hitman. Put you away, I did because- I teach at a college, this part-time gig just- So you've been lying to me this whole time? Yep. I was- He wanted the sex. I didn't want to lose you. I liked Ron, so I didn't want to show you Gary. Gary! I'm Gary. My real name is Gary oh, Johnson. dude. You're giving way too much info now. I called three times. Hey, how's it going, Claude? Okay, I'll be right there. Handle something really quickly right back. Don't leave, whatever your name is. Something still feels off, guys. Then is Ron, but I left as Gary. Oh, well, his, his inner monologue is back. Johnson's here. Phil, briefing room. Hey, looking good, Gary. Glad you could make it. This is looking more and more like we... He does not work for you. Tell him what we just found out. Policy by $1 million. Again, after that time at the police you. That was the night I ran into you. You talked to her. You talked to her too? <laughs> He's being Ron right now. Yeah, that was Madison. Do you think she could be involved in his murder? So what are we doing next here, guys? Clam up. And if she's really behind this, she's Tori from her. This guy. Wow, he is messing with him. Hardcore. Was it ran into her? One where you're going on there on that one. Ron. I trust him enough to be sharing a... I mean, let's face it, huh? <laughs> they... Every time they say Ted Strauss stop, I want ice cream. I have a problem. I'm liking this. There's no telling what she'll say, but... Exactly. You good with that, Gary? So you send me the address. I'll meet you over there. We'll get you prepped. Um, see you guys in the van. On the Civic. <clears throat> yeah. You're uh, making me nervous. <laughs> Cop on duty drinking. Shows, reinforces his rebellious side. Really? Does he need that? Yeah, I want to be in his ear on this one. Go get her, Ron. He could just take it out. <laughs> Hey, problem solved. We gotta talk. They're thinking one of us did it. Well, it wasn't me. Uh, not that long ago at Virgo's. Yes, the club. I was walking out of Virgo's. I'm invested now! Ray loses his shit when he sees me with this other guy. Gets all threatening, fucking grabs me. Protect me. He pulls out a gun out of nowhere. Find out more about the guy with the gun. Yeah, of course he's gonna say that. You don't know his name. I don't know his name. Else, he said yes. So you know what? He said his name, I didn't hear it. Hey, fuck off. And he wasn't random, he was a damn good damn. Why is this entertaining now? You know that first time we met at the Please You? Like a lot of these other pieces of shit I work for. Don't act like a million dollars is nothing. You know what I'm capable of. <laughs> Ray's family has money, they, they, they do shit like this. Look, I don't even know if I got any- This scene is saving the whole movie for me. But you are not giving me I am on your side. That is why I'm here. That you have to tell me the truth so I can get this right. Answering questions from a fucking hitman. Don't call him Gary. Let them find out who really did it to do with this. Asshole. Now get the fuck out of my house. Oh, good. She didn't say it. After I walk out, you were on your own. I could have helped. And as far as we know. Great. You know, if you see me publicly, don't say hi. Get out. It's making me nervous. Fine by me. Oh, my God. He got out. What'd you think? What'd you think? Wow. You gave her plenty of rope to hang herself. Me too. Yeah, she seemed pretty honest in there. Yeah. Yeah, I tend to agree. I great work in there, Gary. Really. He's trying to figure out how that happened. Uh, so this mystery guy, the, um, should we try to hunt that guy down? No. Guy who pulled a gun on an asshole in the alleyway. Yeah, we're done here. Oh, no, I'm suspect again. It was literally Imagine just telling what phenomenal flawless but you maybe i never gave you enough credit gary gary ron <laughs> there's still something missing sometimes yeah 
What the fuck? Yeah, like there's still something missing. Okay. Ho, ho, ho. You got nothing, Jasper. Well, I... You think anybody oh, gives shit. a shit? I, no, I, yeah, congratulations. Fuck you. Get hey, lost. Hey, hey, stop. Jasper is one dirty cop. Stay. Babe, sit down. Yeah, babe, you're being a... Is she going to shoot him? Well, that director wanted to see a butt shot. Help us out. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, enough. There is another plot twist coming. I have enough evidence. You're going to be there for a while. You're Mr. Tough Guy here. Fucking kill thing. A cool plot twist would be if he killed Jasper. <clears throat> she poisoned him with the beer? And ironically... I mean, that money got me thinking that this... Yo, she's like a Black Widow, man. Hell hath no fury. Fucking adventure can actually have a happy ending. Harry's like, uh... All right, bro. All right. The cash is the... Uh, fuck. Yeah, take a seat. Fuck. They're not asking questions like what's wrong are you okay someone say something i'm fucked there it is what just happened i put drugs in his beer i hope i didn't overdo it i'm going to jail i drugged a cop it's a dirty cop i'm so fucked I really am jaded because I still don't entirely trust her. Like, what are you doing? I'm gonna kill him? But for Jasper these days, I'm probably thinking about him the way we are right now. He gets found in his car, drugs in his system, back over his. What kind of drug? No contusions or sinus. How do he take the drug? Clearly a suicide. His wife left him. No one to question the story. Bad idea, man. You got to think of the little details. I'd be such a good like hitman. Abusive. You gotta, you gotta think of all the little things. I've watched way too much true, true crime shows to know. They'd be like, "What kind of medication was it? Where to get the medication or the drugs or whatever it is?" They don't have a choice. You have a choice. Look, I know you're taking a leap with me, and there's some. He's the one who did all this stuff. Not you. I think I'm in love with you. That's always a lead. For the record, I think I'm in love. You think? You're going to kill somebody because you think you're in love? You better be damn sure. For better or worse. Kind of the worst, right? The irony of it being a thank you bag. So we're in this till the end. Yes. Because I don't believe in divorce. So do we agree on the terms? She gonna sign the contract again? What do I sign? Anyone else I need to sign? So they're gonna bang while the dude's dying on the floor? This is weird, bro. There's a little place down here I need to initial. She was seeing God while he was going to meet God? I know, I've thrown a lot- gotta be better jokes there. I just couldn't think of any that quickly. That's the point, isn't it? To be inundated, dibs and possibilities. Kind of cool that they did this along with the like semester of school, so that and I didn't you know always. the final exam happens at the end of the movie. So as we close out the semester, complicated world, it is this. And whoever you want to be, after be them with passion. Passion. Always talking about that. Best of luck to you all on your. You may begin. That was his preamble to the final. Yeah, I'm bringing Gary's famous apple pie. Oh, and don't worry about the costumes. We were hoping someone would build for Aspen. I could have literally strangled her to death. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Is that their daughter? As love can do, I eventually found the proper cock. After all, life is short. Did she have a daughter before? I'm so... Mommy, what did you meet? No, that's his kid. They fast forwarded a lot. You didn't think when you were pregnant to have an origin story conversation? And your mother. Well, what can I say? She ended up making a new man out of me. By killing another. By killing two others. To answer your question, we met at a magical little place. You enjoying your pie? Yes, goodbye. Goodbye. It sure is. You may 
mean, I got to bookend it, right? Oh, right. These are like... So this actually happened to this guy? Oh, we made that part up. That's awesome. Richard Linklater is a good director. Oh, I love that Glenn Powell wrote this with him. That's dope. That's dope. So they made up the murder part, made it all up. But that's kind of fun. I like that they did it this way. Uh, and I definitely, I totally forgot that it was based on a true story uh, that that got. So there really was this Gary Johnson who did this stuff. It's a shame he died before the movie, he could see the movie. I'm betting he knew it was being made, though, because this came out this year. He died in 2022. Usually takes like three or four years to make a movie. Uh, that ended up being a more fun ending than I expected. I was very suspect of her. like, And I guess they were doing that intentionally so that you're questioning it the whole time. Uh, I wouldn't say this is like an amazing movie, but, you know, it's a good like have on while you're doing other things try to pay attention to the plot when it really matters kind of movie uh so i think it i think it ended up in the right place i do like that he was talking about passion at the end i say that all the time if you're going to do something do it with passion uh so you know it had some redeeming qualities in there i'll give it that uh that's gonna do it for this one guys uh brand new movie obviously haven't seen it uh just came out uh I'm starting to like Glenn Powell as an actor, I think, between this and Maverick. I thought he's he's doing pretty good. So uh, don't know what the next movie's going to be, but stick around, and I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Also, I do music reactions on the channel as well, so check those out if you have time. Uh, and that's going to do it for this one. Appreciate all of you for staying this long, if you made it this far. And uh, remember, don't wait for life to be easy to be happy. I feel like that's something Gary would have said, right, in real life?